Tyler Merchie here. Moreno received a text message from a friend who works at a veterinary clinic. And when she opened it, she saw a photo of Max, a 16-year-old cat, looking back at her. Despite the fact that Max was in wonderful health, his owner had walked in and requested that he be put to death, according to her acquaintance. They were working so hard to prevent that from happening by finding him a new home. I tried my hardest to find him a home, and I almost did it. But they couldn't take him in the end, Moreno said. On that Thursday, I was told that if Max didn't find a home, then he would be put to sleep at the owner's request. I just couldn't let that happen. So I got in my car, and on the next day, drove the hour and a half to get him. Moreno hadn't planned on adopting another cat, but she felt a pull towards Max and knew she had to help him. Sometimes the best things in life aren't planned. Max was visibly distressed and talkative when Morano first saw him, but she believes he understood that she was there to help him. He hit my head right away, and I immediately realized he was intended to be mine. Because of all that was happening, Max had been cranky and bewildered, but as soon as he saw his new mom, he instantly became more composed. He appeared to be aware that she was there to take him home. And she did just that. Max's previous owner had a long list of concerns about him when he was originally taken to the veterinarian. But since Morano took him home, he's been the ideal addition to her family. He didn't have any trouble settling in, and his favorite activity is to follow his new mother around and tell her how much he loves her. Max settled in the pack very quickly and soon found his favorite spot, the sink. He's very chatty and we have full conversations all the time. I think he understands that he's safe with me. He follows me around and stands guard while I shower, something he did the first day I brought him home. When Moreno first got that text from a friend, she had no idea it would end up with her adopting a 16-year-old cat. But now, she wouldn't have it any other way. Max is such a blessing, and I believe he was sent to me, Moreno said. Oh my God, I'm so happy for Max and so thankful that he got adopted. Sometimes I just don't understand the human thinking process or the lack thereof. But fortunately, there are people around who will help older animals and give them a home for their final years. Anyway, Cooper Marchie here. Ciao.